Hello viewers, welcome to Programming Geek. I am here with a new tutorial that is creating view using multiple table and adding some function in the view. Start Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Put password, uh, SQL Server Authentication password. Expand the database. Uh, my database name is Programming Tutorial DB. Expand the database and expand the table folder. Expand the uh, table product info underscore tab. Uh, and there, is a con there are column product ID name, design color, and date. And uh, now I'm gonna set uh, records. These are the records in the database table. You can see the list. Okay, now I'm gonna add two more table to create a view. Right click, new. Okay, new table, like creating two table that will be used to, to create a view. Purchase ID, this is primary key column, and data type is integer, and identity specification is yes, uh, I mean, uh, it's automatically increment one, and the speed also one. And now relational column is product ID, okay? So put product ID. This is also integer type. Save this table with the name purchase info underscore tab. Okay. Now more columns purchase quantity. I'll join this table with the uh, product info tab. Save this table again. Okay. Now replace this folder and you can see the first info table is added now i'm gonna uh, insert some records in this database table purchase info table purchase uh, id product id you can see product id 1012 and 1034 okay purchase id is auto incremental and product id is 101 this is uh, it's must matched with the product info table okay now purchase quantity 200 purchase price 500 and purchase id is auto incremental you can see now i'm gonna add one more co column in this table total and this is computed column i mean sum of uh, multiplication of purchase quantity and purchase price so put purchase quantity into purchase price as same as table column name okay now Product ID 102, purchase quantity 300 and 205, price 101, 400 and price is 100, 103, 300 and price is 50, okay. Now I'm gonna add one more table, new table, column name is, this is the, this table will be used for sale information, so sale ID, integer and uh, the relational column is purchase id in the cell table so purchase id this is also derivative of integer and uh, quantity cell quantity plot cell price also plot and total cell total total is uh, this is computed column multiplication of cell quantity and cell price you can see cell quantity into cell price okay save save this table table name is sale in founders code tab click on ok yes adding relation between product and purchase tab in that case in the product column in purchase table just click on relation add relation and table and column specification uh, this is a rela uh, the primary key table is product info tab product id and foreign key is purchase info ok now save yes it's saved uh, click yes okay now sell info it will be related with the purchase info table with the column purchase id and uh, the uh, sell id is identity column and this is the relational column adding relation between purchase and sell table uh, with the column purchase id primary key column purchase info tables purchase id and sell info tables purchase id okay now it's done save yes now I'm gonna insert in records in the cell table. In that case, uh, purchase ID is one, two, three, four. So cell will be one. But uh, cell ID is auto incremental. Purchase ID is relational column uh, of, of, of purchase table for ID. Okay. 
sell quantity 50 sell price 700 and sell total is computed column so no need to put cost total and now three purchase quantity 400 and price is 100 so in purchase id uh, 3 120 and price is 150 okay 350 okay now i'm going to inserting one more records yes to 120 just inserting some records uh, to show you how to create view using multiple table okay you can see this is the product info table and the records in the product info table now creating view with these three tables in that case yes now go to the object explorer again right click on view now see that there is no view right click new view yes click on add product info then add purchase info and then sell info all the tables i just added and now just select column all column from product info tab and uh, in the purchase info tab just select a specific column and now purchase quantity purchase price okay purchase total then from the sell table just select uh, sell quantity yes sell quantity and sell price sell total now just uh, execute yes you can see the records you inserted in the product info purchase info and sell info table all the records displaying in the view you can see sell quantity sell price but uh, here is some redundant data and purchase uh, quantity because uh, uh, of uh, the relation and uh, and uh, I mean multiple transaction in a single uh, purchase in that case so first of all I'm gonna save this view uh, view name is a uh, product transaction underscore view okay click on okay yes now I'm gonna add some function in sell quantity mm, and then I will display on the summary information uh, in this view in that case just add uh, sum in cell quantity sum cell quantity noted that if you uh, use some function in a view or any select statement you must uh, use group by clause okay now some function is added now I am gonna add group by group by clause uh, uh, group by, in this group by clause you must add that column uh, which is not uh, out of some function which is not uh, included in the sum function now click on continue oh yes group by clause do not support a star in that case in the product info tab dot star you should uh, remove dot star and you should uh, put all the column name in the group by clause in that case you can see all the column is selected just copy the column and paste it in group by clause product input tab. okay now execute yes it's working fine you can see and uh, the sell quantity purchase quantity purchase price and uh, uh, this is uh, okay total okay but uh, sell quantity is uh, displaying as expression so uh, just uh, renamed the expression as cell quantity and cell total as cell total expression 2 for cell total okay now execute yes you can see cell quantity uh, the sum of cell quantity and cell uh, total also okay now you can see these are the column added in the uh, view uh, from product info purchase info and sell info tab and see the other records also okay thanks for watching this tutorial